Hello, I'm Matthew Connor. Today I'm going to review the new VR Pro Combine. As you can see, it's a forged head. It's got nice classic lines. You've got the X3X grooves and a polished finish. Now, I'm interested in hitting this first one. It's got the new Dynamic Gold Pro shaft, so let's see how this one performs. Not got a bad morning. Now, that was a good swing nice penetrating flight you get good feedback through the forged head i'm going to hit one straight away Let's try and have one exactly the same another good strike but i just left the blade slightly open now to be honest looking down at the head it does look like it's more for the serious golfer for the toe player now the last two i've hit them good so i'll just see how far they've gone Total distance 176 and 173, so the ball is travelling normal distance. Now looking down at the head, it does remind me of a blade having such a thin top line and minimal offset. And that brings out the creative side of me, so I'm going to select a couple of shots from the creative bag. And then I'm going to hit them and see how they perform, and I've gone for my favourite, a big draw. So let's just try a big draw, let's see how easy it is to manoeuvre the ball. Alright, let's go, should be good at this. I've absolutely ripped that, look at that move. Now this is a six iron, that's a pocket cavity that's filled with a polymer to help with sound and feel. And seven to pitch and wedge, because they're more scoring clubs, it's a split cavity that helps with control. Let's select my final shot, and see what we go for this one. What have we got? A, ooh, a low fade, so a tough one. So I'm gonna try and play a low punchy fade and see how easy it is to maneuver the ball left to right. Let's just try and get the feeling of what I need to do. That's fine. All right. Oh, that's a shame. I just mistruck it slightly off the heel, but the ball's still moving left to right. Now, the shaft feels responsive. It's the first time I've used it. It's this Dynamic Gold Pro shaft, and I didn't know anything about it, so I just read up on it. And basically, it's a variable shaft, so it's designed with different step patterns and weight profiles and flex profiles. And how it's designed is to, to try and launch the ball up high with the long irons, and then with the shorter irons, try and play them more with control. Now, I'm just going to see how forgiving it is. I know I've just mistruck that one from the heel, but I'm going to try and mistrike from the toe. Now I've got my normal left-handed face tape, so the readings will be backwards. I'll just get rid of this. Let's just try and misstrike this one. See how it feels and performs. Oh yeah, I did misstrike that one. The head still felt fairly stable. You can see how far off the bottom of the toe I hit it, so not a great strike at all. Now it's a shame that it's raining because it'd be nice to hit some balls off the grass and test out these X3X grooves. Basically on the face there's lots of grooves and they're really close together and that just helps disperse water and dirt and just helps you play the shot with more control. So I'm going to hit one last one to finish with. Let's just have a really good swing, Matthew. Come on then. Oh, that was a good shot to finish with. So I suppose it's time to sum these irons up. It reminds me of Lamborghini. They started off building tractors and then they became one of the world's finest car manufacturers. And it's the same with Nike. They haven't got the Mizuno and the Titleist heritage, but dare I say it, for the progressive iron category, maybe one of the best. Let me know what you think about these irons. Play some comments below. Thanks for watching. Would you like a game? Come on then. If we're going to help all the golfers in the world, I need your help. Contact me, let me know what equipment you'd like reviewed and what drills you'd like me to cover. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 